We're here with a very, very special person, Mother Karen, here at Grace Episcopal Church in Whitestone. And I've known about this church for a very long time. Uh, I grew up going to All Saints Church over in Bayside, and the two churches have been closely affiliated with each other. But now I'm over here, and it's a wonderful church, and we're here with this wonderful person. Mother Karen, it's really a pleasure to meet you. It's finally. good to meet you, finally. <laughs> so. After, I think, three years now. So and Really, right before yeah. the pandemic we started. Absolutely, yeah. right. But, and all through the pandemic, you kept doing stuff, serving the community, helping people, helping with food, all kinds of things. That's correct, we didn't stop. We have a food pantry and we took it out into the parking lot and we put it in people's cars and in their hands during that time when we were all restricted. Uh, we had our worship services like many churches online and through Zoom. Um, so we didn't stop, we kept doing what we believe God has called us to do and that is to be brothers and sisters of one another and, and serving those who need. You were, you were telling me something wonderful and uh, when we when I first got here about um, kind of what the scriptures say. It's not about a handout, it's about a... It's really about a hand up. Um, we have a food pantry and a, a thrift shop that serve the Whitestone community and believe it or not, even in this lovely community, we have people that fall in the gaps of their financial needs and their personal needs and we meet those needs the best that we can and we have many community sponsors uh, that participate with us, many, many partners that share in that ministry with us. And as the gospel teaches, you know, Jesus says, feed my sheep. Well, we believe it both literally and figuratively, and how can we do that? And I think um, our dedicated volunteers and those community partners that have, have worked alongside us have seen the need and know that there is more to this life than, um, you know, all about me, that it is more about how do we serve and how do we give back? And so we have been very fortunate in having been a center of that for the Whitestone area. And we're grateful um, to all the people that, that participate with us. The kind of values that you want to remain with humanity, with social media and everybody talking about narcissism on the rise and everybody all about the me, me, me. Um, that's the kind of messages we want to stay strong in our society, in humanity itself and just as people, to be making sure we're watching out for other people, and you guys do that a lot here. Well, it's, it's, um, it's a charism of our community. It is just a, it's, just, um, it's just who we are, and it's who Grace Church has been for a long time before I even got here. And, you know, the credit goes to them and to, you know, putting their faith in action, which is, you know, what we were called to do. And um, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter where we come from or who we are, it matters how we treat one another and that's sort of the bottom line. And that's what we know from the gospel. There you go, <laughs> there you go. That's, that's what we love to hear. So, um, I was looking, when, when uh, Grace Church has been around, do you know what year it was made, created? Yes, Grace, Grace Church is uh, from 1858, so wow. um, we've been here a long time and <laughs> we've seen a lot of changes on this little corner of Clintonville and uh, 14th, so we're still here and we're still moving forward, doing what we believe we're called to do. And Grace Church, as I recall, Grace Church, like all saints, came out of the big church in Flushing. There was a big Episcopal church in Flushing. It grew, and I think Grace Church was the next Episcopal, and then All right. Saints after that. St. George's Flushing, yeah, yes. George's. Grace, Grace Church is, a, is a, a, what they would call a church plant today from St. George's, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, it's the growth of it. So it's like a spinoff, but right. uh, for religious and, and, uh, and for, for spiritual reasons. So, so uh, thank you for talking to us. Absolutely. We're going to go back and we're going we're gonna to check out their a uh, little bit and learn more about their pantry and about their thrift shop, which our little Janet's going to be here from time to time, uh, hopefully. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mother Karen, thank I you. love meeting you finally. It's and you're, you're charming and wonderful. I love your church. It's beautiful. By the thank way, you. you should just come over here. It's a very, very beautiful church. When, what, uh, what time are services? Um, we have services in the summer out on the lawn because it gets a little hot inside. And then in the fall, we have services at 8 and 10. Our services on the lawn are at 10 o'clock. That's got to be charming in this lawn. Uh, anybody's welcome. Walk up on the sidewalk and join us. Grace Church, let's go inside. Mm -hmm.